Welcome back to the channel guys and girls. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel. Today we're going to be building a DIY truck camper. Uh, and the total cost of this is about $200 and it took me about three hours to build. So I've already built it and I'm going to show you like the before, kind of after, um, basically like a detailed on how to build the whole thing. So uh, I bought this truck last year during like the pandemic lockdown. It's not exactly what I wanted. It's got the five foot bed. I'd rather prefer like a six foot bed, but the five foot bed is a little bit cheaper and that's all they had in kind of stocks. This is the Chevy Colorado 2020 Z71 off-road. But so all that really matters is it's five feet from that side to that side and here to there when it's shut. Now I do have a ranch and I'll take a picture, show you guys that right real quick. This is Sierra Series Ranch Cap, which did cost me a pretty penny. Uh, you can get some used ones online. So it does have the screen here and screen there, and it has a pass-through window on that side, which is kind of nice. And it just clamps on to the normal bed. This is the factory bed liner, basically, that they spray on on the truck. And then this is just my PVC fly rod tube holder, so I keep that in there all year long. So my plan is to build a platform up here and then put two drawers underneath for all of my fly fishing gear, waders, um, a little cooktop, and that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna be using every square inch of this truck as much as possible since it's only five by five. It's not eight foot or anything like that or six foot six. I have these two little cubby holes right here, there and one in the back. And each one of those is basically the width of a two by six. So I'm gonna put a two by six across and across there in the back plywood on top and then I'm going to build two drawers underneath and then I've also run some lights on the inside. So that's the plan for the build. Um, uh, it should take me a few hours to build the whole thing. I'm going to leave all the links for all of the items that I can find below. I shop mainly at Lowe's or if I left, found it on Amazon I will basically leave the Amazon link below and I used you know just a few hand tools and a couple of power tools stuff that you can do at home without any like woodworking knowledge. Make sure you leave comments and likes below. Feel free to ask me any questions. This is my first build. I wanted it quick and cheap um, and not super crazy because ice fishing season's coming and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space in there to put all my ice fishing gear. So I built it so I can take it in and out as, as quick as possible. So I'm gonna hop in the back of the truck with my handy tape measure and measure the the width of each two by six that needs to go in there. And I bought a two by six by 10 to get my two pieces. And I wanted them to fit in there nice and snug. So that'll be supporting all of my weight, plus the sheet of plywood. So my lovely wife and I slide in the full sheet. This is four by eight by three quarter poplar plywood. I'll leave a link for that below. And I'm just gonna mark the length that I like. Take that out and cut it with my skill saw. And it's always helpful to have someone help you out on those longer cuts. A little person fitment in there, seeing how sturdy it is. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking a compass and I'm marking around all the little bumps and obtrusions on the side of the bed so I can carve those out with a jigsaw. You can also use a coping saw if you have one. So I'll make all those cuts. And I'll slide that piece up and over. Now that's touching in the back and then it's touching nice and tight to the left hand side of the truck. And then I'm gonna take my other piece of plywood that I happen to have laying around so you will have to buy another piece of plywood for this. That's where it gets a little bit expensive. And do the same thing, use a compass as a scribe, or you can kind of measure it out if you need to. And do the same thing, get all the little bumps and details of the truck. So you can use every square inch of the back of the truck for sleeping. And now I'm cutting the length of it so it fits into that little leftover sliver. It's nice and tight, just like I wanted it to. So now I'm taking some ex 
taking a nap basically, laying in there, seeing if the space is good. Not a lot of headroom, but I plan on just sleeping in here, not, you know, relaxing in there. Uh, now I'm using a countersink bit and some exterior grade screws. And I'm just screwing that plywood to those two by sixes so it doesn't lift up. So this thing's just basically sitting in there under friction. All right, now that we get the platform built, it is now time to build the drawer system. So I'm gonna build two drawers out of some quarter inch plywood and some one by sixes pine. So I'm gonna build the boxes first. So now I'm taking the measurement between the wheel wells. That's my skinniest point on the back of my truck. And taking my 3 8 plywood and cutting it to length first. Basically the same length as the plywood above it. Minus probably about an inch for the handles that I have to install. And now I'm cutting the width that's gonna slide in between the two wheel wells. And safety first, I always have safety glasses and hearing protection on, so that fits. And then I'm gonna do some math and cut that sheet of 3 8 plywood right in half to create my two drawers. And again, my wife is helping. And now I have one by six by eight pine. And I had bought four of those and I'll kind of explain why. So I'm cutting two of them to the length of the box minus the width of the material. So minus an inch on both ends. And I'm using a Craig tool. This is the Craig Junior, I think, to do pocket screws on my runners of my drawers, both sides, so the long pieces. So those are basically an inch short on each end, so I can put the box ends of the drawers on the end so it looks nice and clean. You don't have to use pocket screws. I just happen to have that. You can just use normal screws and countersink them. And I'm just using two screws. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Two pocket screws. One on the top of the board about an inch down and then one on the bottom of the board inch down. And I'll flip it and I'll repeat to the other side. And I'll just screw that together. And now I've taken the plywood and I put it on the bottom. I flipped it over and I'm pre-drilling and countersinking with the same tool. It's a drill and countersink tool. Just around the edges as many times as I kind of feel like it, probably four or five on the sides and, and three or four on the ends. And I'm putting in some exterior grade screws. I think they're an inch and a quarter. And that will build the shell of my box. Now I'm marking the halfway point and putting in a drawer handle. And I will do the same thing for the other drawer. Got to clean up first. Slides in and out nice and easy. And they are the perfect length and they are not full height because I need room to put stuff in there. So thank you guys very much for watching the build video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm gonna leave as much of the materials that I bought below. I'm gonna find that I shop mainly at Lowe's because it's the closest to my house. I'm gonna leave all the hardware, all the screws I used, all the tools that I used as much as possible. The tools I've had for years, so it's not really part of the, the costing of the whole thing. But let me show you, I've actually slept in it one night and now I have some improvements that I wanna make. Uh, so let me show you what I packed kind of in it. Basically, I slept diagonally, which is my original plan, slept diagonally from here, and this is kind of in my, my square footage spot. So this is a very small truck, obviously, it's only five by five, but I built the drawers, as you guys saw, and I've loaded one side up with the Blackstone grill, which I absolutely love, and the hammock and the hose for the road shower, which I'll do a video about that soon. 
and some propane and the jet boil and my inverter. And now one thing I did realize after I built this is, you know, this doesn't really slide that, this wood doesn't really slide that good on this surface. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy some plastic furniture slides and kind of screw them to the bottom or kind of like tack them to the bottom, I think. And I think that'll, that will help with most of the pulling. Or I'm gonna get some piece of plastic and kind of like make runners underneath so it sits up a little bit better. Because it is a little bit hard to pull if it's fully loaded. Gotta put all my weight into it and then on this side, On this side I have my sleeping bag, which is a Kelty sleeping bag, my fly fishing stuff, bear spray just in case, and my sleeping pad, and some batteries, fly fishing, fly rods, rain jacket, some fleece pants, tripod, hiking pole. And then I also, I haven't finished the wiring on this yet, obviously, because it's such a mess, but I want to make sure all the lights are in like the right spot. But basically these are truck bed LEDs that I just kind of like, stuck in there they got 3m adhesive on it and that kind of like lights up the whole cab in the back it's actually like a cool ambiance on the inside um, and i just put down a blanket sleeping pad blanket and then the sleeping bag and a pillow and i was like all set and then i also have a carbon monoxide detector all the way up there so i'll leave the link for that because that's very important when you're living in like a small quarters and I have the screens that open on both sides, of course. So like I said, if you have any questions, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing, I've already made improvements to this, even I slept in one night, so I'll continue to make updates on this and keep you guys updated. Um, it'd be better if it was a six foot truck, but obviously I can't do that now. So thank you guys very much for watching.